Hello, in this presentation I'll be showing you how to write a program in Python code that generates the Fibonacci sequence. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create the procedure that will do that for us. I'm going to call the, the uh, procedure Fibonacci. Press enter and uh, what I'll be doing is uh, uh, I'll be using uh, a list and the answer will be contained within the list. The name of the list is ANTS, short for answer. And I'm going to initialize it with these values. So the, f the uh, first and second element there are 1 and 1. And now, for a loop, it's a for loop, and it'll loop 10 times. And what I'll do is I'm going to append the um, list called ants. I'm going to append it 10 times. And what I'll be doing so initially, um, the first element's going to be 1, the second element's going to be 1, and that third element, the one that I'm appending uh, to the list for the very first time, well I'm going to create that, that element at the end by getting the last number there and adding it to the second last number. And this is how, how I'll append it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the last number and I'll refer to it as with index minus 1. And I'm going to add to that the second last number. And that'll just be um, added to the end or included uh, at the end of the list each time. Ten times. And then what I'll do is I'll print out the list. And I think that's the uh, easiest way of doing it. Now what that'll do is that'll generate uh, the first 12 numbers in the Fibonacci sequence. The first two will come from here, and an additional 10, 10 plus 2, and you should see 12 numbers being generated. So I'll just call that now, and it works really well. And they're the first 12 numbers of the Fibonacci sequence. Well, there is another way of doing this uh, without using a list you can do it using uh, variables. So I'm going to call this one uh, Fibonacci version 2. And in this one I'm going to be using well a total of three variables. I'm going to initialize A and B with the value 1. And then what I might do is I might ask, um, I might get this thing to print the value A and then print the value B. And then um, I'll use another for loop, a for loop again. This will loop 10 times. Now the value that I'm um, the the new value that I'll be printing will be a plus b, and that'll be stored in variable c. But what I want, uh, so 
So if that's A and if that's B, A plus B will give me that, that next term. But to move on from there, what I want is I want A not to be this. I want A to be this term. So what was B now is A. And what was B and what was B is now C. So what I want here is, well, even before I do that, I'll print the value C, that next term, and then um, I want A to take on the value of B, and I want B to take on the value C. So now when I run this, uh, you'll see the numbers, uh, 12 numbers generated. The first and second uh, terms of the Fibonacci sequence and an additional 10, which will give me 12 numbers going down the screen. So I'll call version 2. And there it is there works very well. And that's how you write the code for a Fibonacci sequence. You can use variables, um, just ordinary variables, um, or, or you can use a, a list. Thank you for watching.